What is up guys, Poncho Cortez, and today I'm going to actually be moving away from pomade and talking about men's fashion. So I'm going to make a few videos, uh, you know, just about men's fashion uh, for the fall, specifically with rockabilly clothing and, you know, other vintage pieces as well. Um, this segment today is actually going to be on coats and jackets. First thing you should know about fall fashions is that, um, you know, around the fall, more uh, different things are um, a bit more popular than other seasons. For one, the um, it's going to be denim, leather, uh, definitely a lot of denim and leather, different clothing styles like um, maroons, deep reds, oranges, yellows, dark colors a lot, you know. So it's going to be so it's going to be kind of from that variety you could say, and you know just mostly for the fact that it's um, it falls along with um, leaves, and, you know, other autumn colors as well. So first uh, coat or jacket I'm going to be talking about is the classic, the jean jacket right here. This is a Levi brand. You can wear a variety of them, so it doesn't matter what kind of what kind of tone it has. Preferably for me, like a stone washed. You know, I just like that, you know, that rich blue that it has. Because it goes well with a couple other, you know, shirts under it. For me, it's mostly black, white, or striped, which I'm going to demonstrate to you right now. Uh, this one right here, I'm wearing with the white t-shirt. You know, it gives it more of a jail blues feeling to it. You know, it's very classic. Because you typically see the white t-shirt underneath the jean jacket. And, you know, it's it's a good choice, too. Last but not least, you got your striped shirt, too. Which is another good classic choice. But, honestly, I would recommend for pants is that you wear, you know, denim pants. That's it. I wouldn't wear khakis or slacks with this just because it's going to look really odd. And the textures of the fabric just don't really add up together. You know, they don't look good, and you want kind of want it to match. And you know, make it more make more sense with your outfit. For shoes, I would recommend wearing Converse, um, Vans, classic Vans, that is, and uh, boots like Doc Martens for one. Next best piece you could wear is the Pendleton coat right here. This is a Western coat. You know, it's got that Western feel to it. Honestly, uh, the color scheme on this is very excellent just because you have the orange along with the tan and, you know, your light gray. Fits in with the autumn theme for sure. And, you know, it's, it's, this is a really good one because you can mix and match with both bottoms and uh, tops as well. For bottoms, you could wear khakis, um, slacks, or you could even wear denim, you know, which is always a good choice. You can never go wrong with denim, especially on a western top. Underneath, you can wear black or white. Those are the only two I'd recommend just because, you know, anything else, you know, it's just going to look really off and bizarre. Always keep your top button, you know, open because if you have it like this, you know, it just, it doesn't look right, honestly. It's better if you have it flared out like this. Also, if you keep it open too, <clears throat> you know, you keep it open. Looks a lot better. Really gets you exposed and it's pretty cool. It's got a pocket inside, so if you find a western piece like this, I would definitely jump on it. It is an excellent one you can get for the fall. Next one, which is a bit lighter, is your Dickies uh, jacket, your Eisenhower, you know, just the standard one. It's a great work jacket. It's polyester, uh, cotton blend, I believe. It's also lined as well. This one is lined. Comes with an inside pocket on the left as well. It's very stylish. It's very sleek. I would prefer getting it in black, you know. It's a lot better. Especially if you got your embroidery on the back. For me, it's just my last name. I think it's pretty sweet. Um, you know, it's very stylish. It's perfect for dates. I'd, you could wear multiple things underneath. Uh, you could wear flannels underneath. You could also wear a black shirt as well, or um, the two-tone stripe as I showed you early, per, earlier. Personally, I like both. Um, I like the white on the inside just because it gives it a good contrast, and then the black, you know, makes it look sharp and sleek. And you know, black looks good on a lot of people. Next, you got your Letterman. For me, this this is a good one right here. It's a black and white Letterman, right here. Nothing on it, but you know, it's, it's like just like the Eisenhower jacket. It's pretty sleek. It looks good. You know, it's a varsity jacket. You get a little bit bulkier in it. You look like you belong to the football team. You know, especially if you're a dude that works out and you're pretty trim and fit. You know, it looks excellent on you. And it's just it's a badass piece to wear. Like I said, you can wear, I would recommend only two tops for this one, which would be your white top or your black top, you know. Break out the contrast or get a little matchy-matchy, it doesn't hurt. You can never go wrong with the fabric sleeves either. This one is uh, used to be my club coat back in sophomore year, junior year. 
You know, it says Lowrider right here. That was my old name back in the day because uh, I was a big time cholo. Right here, my uh, the old club name, which was the Mellow Kings. It was complete with dice, Betty Page, a skull, and an eight ball. And I thought it looked badass back in the day. I still think it looks badass. I'll sport time to time. One thing that this has in common with the Eisenhower jacket as well is that you could wear different bottoms with it as well. Denim, slacks, or khakis, you know. Those are the big three that you're going to want to wear. Even when it comes to slacks, especially for the fall, you're going to want to go with dark colors. But, you know, that's gonna, I'm going to save that for a different video. Here's the next uh, piece. I want your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Okay, my Arnold impression isn't all that great. But this is, this is the true American classic. This is what every bad boy had back in the day. Your motorcycle jacket. As soon as man could ride a motorcycle, he bought a badass jacket alongside it. And this is the true standard of rockabilly fashion. The motorcycle jacket. One of the slickest jackets a man can wear. Honestly, because if you got a good if you got a good do, some badass denim and some nice boots, you're ready to kick some ass. Yeah, unfortunately though, when it comes to a leather jacket like this, you can really only wear denim and leather boots, or you could go with Converse or Vans. But personally, I like to go with a pair of Doc Martens. That's just me. Right here, I mean, with this though, you could go with a variety of sunglasses, and um, you could go with the three the three tops, which I'll demonstrate in a minute. But you know. Some sunglasses I'd recommend wearing with this. You got your Ray-Bans. True classic right here. Your reflective aviators. Right here. You know, just pop these bad boys on. Nobody's going to take shit. You're going to take shit from nobody. And then you also got your cool 80s, late 70s, early 80s shades. I mean, you be the judge. These are ones I would recommend, especially these ones, too, because, you know, red. Red is very sleek. This is it right here with the black top. Not too bad. Once again, it looks very sleek. Unfortunately, with the motorcycle jacket, you know, the one problem I do see with it is that there's a breed out there of, of new assholery called the Greaser. Now, don't give me this, like, oh, you know, Greasers, you know, they've always been around. No, I'm talking about this new breed of Greaser. You know, the guy that thinks he's a greaser, but, you know, tries too hard to be in the stuck in the 1950s and 60s. You know, that guy, the one that practically everybody hates, don't be that person. You know, stay true to yourself. But, I mean, like, don't let that guy ruin the motorcycle jacket for the rest of us, alright? If you know what I mean. So, last but not least, you got your striped shirt too, which goes under it, which is another classic style that I've seen, that I've noticed back in, you know, old films and pictures. You got your striped shirt underneath, and it makes, you know, it's pretty cool, you know, just that old two-tone look, you know, you don't see that that often anymore, unfortunately. But, you know, what are you going to do? Um, these have been styling and fashion tips by me for coats. Actually, I don't know what I'm saying at this point, I'm sorry guys. Basically what I mean to say is thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe. I got more videos coming soon on fashions that you should wear this fall, you know, considering you young rockabilly men out there wanting to look ravishing for those fine young dolls. Yeah, I kind of sound like an asshole too. Uh, thanks for watching guys, like, share, subscribe, check out more videos coming soon.